And more importantly, we got to talk about our friends over at DraftKings because they are clearly the sponsor of this. And we know that they are, you know, the top rated sports booking app. Not only are they safe, but they are secure. And more importantly, they are reliable. And that's what we love. But Deke, I tell you, every time we talk commercial, every time we talk about DraftKings, we only talk about them if we got a hookup for you, baby, which we do. If you use the promo code MOTES, all right? I know my first timers out there. Use that promo code MOTES. You receive up to $1,000 in deposit bonus money. Now, Deke, we talked about how that works, right? If it's your first time, you put 500 in the pot. Guess what I'm going to do for that deposit bonus? I'm DraftKings. I'm going to put 500 in the pot with you. That's free money. And then after that, you use that. And then we talk about these you know, prop bets and future bets that we've already been listing out. You put that money to that. Now you make even more money or at least have a chance to, right? Because you got to have a chance. Dude. Yeah. That's all we want. We don't want much. Just a chance to win a little yeah, money. Yeah, football season makes it more fun. It does make it more fun. I mean, you think college. You got your takes. Put your money where your mouth is. That's Th- all. Thank you. Some might even call that a big deke investment. That's what they might say. But either way, man, check them out. But I know that sometimes we have to talk about if you have a gambling problem. We're not going to tell you all that. What you should do is read this right here. Yeah. 1-800-GAMBLER if you have a gambling problem. That's who you should contact. Following up the DraftKings part where we stack our paper. So that's perfect. Absolutely. So remember on Monday, we introduced this segment, right? Stack your paper. We're going to give you off a couple of our favorite bets, something that we think, you know, would hit for this week's game or any games that are coming up in that week, man. So obviously on Monday, we did our futures bets, right? Who we thought would be league MVP, lead the team in sacks or lead the league in sacks, things like that. So today, I know from my end, I'm taking more of an approach on just this Steelers-Bills games, right? Because to me, man, that's all the action I need. This is plenty going on right here. So my first little little line I liked right here was Steelers plus six and a half. Now, why do I like Steelers plus six and a half? If you don't, or if you think the Steelers are going to win, this is great anyways. But if you thought that they might lose, but it would be close, field goal or less, you know, less than a touchdown point game, then this is the odds that you would want because they got them at minus 110. So essentially a $25 bet when you're about $47. I like that right there. But if you're feeling a little more froggy, because you know my man Deke, sometimes he tell you got 50-50 games, right? But then sometimes you got them, this is a game that's a lock. And I know a lot of people, especially Steelers fans, I've seen it. Y'all feel very confident about this one. And I'm glad y'all do. Money line is yours. Plus 250 for the odds. A $25 bet will win you $87. All the Steelers got to do is win straight up. I like that one too. If yeah. you're liking it as much as I'm seeing some of these score predictions. I took it a couple months ago. You definitely did. You got you some, got the better odds, I'm sit, actually. I'm sitting on some yeah. profit right now. You got the better odds right there, yep. man. I you, got Steelers you money line. You the curve right there, man. Drop a couple of yours. You got one or two you want to drop real quick in between? Sure. Yeah. So like I said, I already have Steelers money line on this game. I bet it like a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. Player prop mm-hmm. in this Steelers-Bills game. This one stood out to me. There was a couple that did, but this one really like, mm-hmm. I'm like, holy crap. Like I turned to you. I was like, holy shit. Najee Harris. They got mm-hmm. three and a half receptions on an over-under. Crazy. And the odds on that, it's even. It's plus 100. I think bare minimum he's getting three receptions. And that's what, so three and a half means he would need to just have four catches, four or more catches to win. I don't think there's any way he doesn't get three. Bare and I'm just, minimum. yeah, I'm just assuming yeah. if you're, you know, asking me right now, do or die, how many does he get? I, at least five. I think I'm, I'm right now. I'm five to seven range. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a yeah. given. Like we were talking about, worst case scenario, it's three. So I think this is pretty much a virtual lock. Najee Harris getting three yeah. and a half receptions. He's going to be a big part of this game. Talked about not only his touches he's going to need in the running game, but also those dump offs. I mean, mm-hmm. I think he's going to bring a, a Le'Veon Bell element yeah. to the Steelers offense that we were missing, really. I mean, Connor had that a little bit in his Pro Bowl year, but mm-hmm. hasn't been the same since. You want one more for me? Yeah, give me one more. Actually, I'll follow up that though. Go ahead. Because, you know, I have a piggyback one to that. I agree. I think Najee's going to go off, and I like that bet a ton. I also like the part with Najee Harris for an anytime score as well. That's because receiving that's and rushing? In, yeah, receiving, rushing, just score anytime in the game. We know he's going to be a focal point of this offense. That's why when I'm hearing three and a half catch, I'm like, bro. He's gonna get touches. He's that's just get like super. Ben like, surveying the field. There's right. nothing there. Dump Drop off, it the off to him. Yeah, and you know, down by the goal, line, they're gonna use him. 
He's a powerful big man. They're not sparing him anything. No, he's going to get the full gamut, take the handcuffs off, take the training wheels off. So for him to score at any time in the game, plus 120 on those odds, a $25 bet essentially when you $55. You know I love that because shout out to that number back there, 55. So, yeah. All right, back on you, baby. Back now, my on last one. This mm-hmm. one's tonight's game. This one stuck out Ooh, to me, too. Ooh, I like this. Player prop. This one's Tom Brady. Uh-oh. You know, I'm very complimentary of Tom Brady. I think he's a great quarterback yeah. and everything. But tonight, they got him at 306 yards on an over-under. 306 yards. That's, that's I don't think he's going to play. Yards. I don't think he's going to play bad. What I'm just thinking is Tampa Bay is going to be winning this game mm-hmm. pretty handedly throughout. And they're going to be running the ball. I think Brady's going to have a 250 yard, 240 Highly type yard efficient. game. Yep. That's it. I don't think he's going to have to do a lot. So I'm taking the under on that one. 306 just seems high for the oh, type of game wild. that I'm envisioning yeah, yeah. happening. I could definitely see that. And we don't even know what Dallas offensively is going to look like right now. And that's minus yeah. 115. So yeah. almost even. Almost even. If you bet 10, you get like nine back or something like that. Yeah. True that, man. True that. I like that right there. All right, you said that was your last one? That's it. All I right. got three. That so I got it. two left. I had two left. So the other one, Pat Frymuth, anytime score. We've seen when he's in the red zone, he is a target. He is a big athletic guy that is rangy. And we were seeing that Ben has a fondness for him. Me watching it every day in training camp, you would see that. The fondness is there, and I absolutely like that. But I like these odds even more for him to score at any time in the game. Any time in the game. Plus 450. So a $25 bet will win you $137. That's crazy to me, man, because I think he, him in the red zone, his, tar- his stock goes up drastically, man. 20 and in, I love it. And then the last one, this is for my, my, my Steelers defense people, right? My people that's rocking with the defense. I know we talked about Pierre Island last night. <laughs> I took the picture. Was it 70% of y'all said that Pierre Island should lock up Diggs? We just heard in the chat where they said, if you lock up Diggs, Steelers should win. Shouldn't be an issue at all. So, you got the Bills. If you can hold their offense under 27 and a half points. So, that's just essentially 28 points or less, right? 27 and a half points. They can't score 28 or more. Can't do that. Negative 115 for the odds, right? So, almost even slightly fade right there. $25 bet. Get you about 46 out of that thing. Now, if you're feeling real good about it, you can double that, triple that, make that money even more if you're down for it. I just don't know how confident y'all are feeling about the rest of the defense. I know y'all was super confident about Pierre Island taking out Diggs, so that's the only reason why I brought this to the table. Because y'all know based on my score prediction, I didn't necessarily feel that way. But I like the energy. Remember, we got the pitch and I got the we, – we good. We good. I feel I, like you're mocking, you're mocking I, the Pierre supporters. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just giving them an opportunity because we're men of the people. If we don't give them an opportunity to, to stand up behind, like when you said, yo, MVP for Ben, what did you do? You said, I'm going to back that thing up. Yeah. When you said Steelers beating Bills, you ain't flinch. You ain't bad out. What'd you do? You wouldn't back that thing up. Yeah. So I just wanted to give the people an opportunity to know that this is available so you can back it up. That's all. Uh, okay. That's it. I, I just, because it's, you know, you got to look for these type of bets. These are prop, prop. These are for our degenerates out there. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, Lord. Yeah. But that's how we rocking with them right there. So go for it, baby. Oh, that's all man. we got for the bets. Then. That is all we have right there. That's the stack your paper segment, man. I thought we like got said, some good man. picks. Absolutely, man.